forgive me for still being blown away by units like the Garmin Echo Map that combines sonar with contour mapping. Look at this, mapping to one foot? Hey, the days of searching for structure are over, but what hasn't changed is the search for fish, and it's getting more challenging. Traditional locations for species like bluegill and walleye are now being fished by the masses, and that pressure is affecting fish location. The key to finding fish these days, look in places others aren't. Start your search by looking for areas similar to the spots you already fish. This break line is phenomenal. Here are two others that deserve a look-see. The main lake basin and other deep water areas are also worth checking out. This 36 foot hole holds suspended crappie all winter, but becomes a community spot once drivable ice is available. Here are two other deep holes that also hold good numbers of fish, but receive little pressure. Drill lots of holes, but don't start fishing until you actually locate fish on your sonar. While basin fish do tend to move a lot, they stay in the same general areas year after year. So drop a few waypoints, it'll make your future searches easier. Stone Cold Fishing. Hot techniques, products, and tips for hardwater hardcores. Introducing two new families of ATVs from Yamaha. The all-new Grizzly for more exploration and adventure. And the value-packed work-all-day Kodiak 700. Both with more power and performance than ever. And both real-world tough. Sometimes, you have to approach things differently. Fraybill sidestep, twin side doors, no more stepping over holes or gear. Vertical front wall, more headroom, more fishable space. Fraybill, trusted gear since 1938.